Today we're talking about the brand new Sigma 28 to 105 millimeter F 2.8 DGDN. Now, in case you missed it, Sigma just announced, and honestly, I think they're on a streak of making some really groundbreaking lenses, but this is, again, in my opinion, another groundbreaking lens in the 28 to 105 millimeter F 2.8 DGDN. Now I have had the pleasure of testing this lens out a little bit early, so you will get my thoughts on this lens, but I do want to give the disclaimer that Sigma has not asked me to say anything specifically, and so you are going to get my full and honest opinion. Now let's dive right into this really amazing lens, starting first by talking about the overall image performance. So first things first, let's get the elephant in the room out of the way. This is a 28 to 105 f 2.8, which for most brands that maxes out at an f4 their 24 to 105 usually maxes out at an f4 so not only do you have the versatility of the 28 to 105 but then you also have the aperture of an f2.8 and so you have decent low light performance and subject isolation but on top of that you do get some of the nice image qualities that we've seen from sigma lenses as of late things like limited focus breathing limited to no chromatic aberration a decent control of flaring and ghosting. And so with those things in mind, Sigma is really knocking it out of the park with these lenses lately, as far as they really are creating almost damn near perfect lenses. And so it should be no surprise that I am really happy with how this lens performs. And so with that, let's go in and talk about the build of this lens as well as some build features. Now this lens is similar to other art series lenses that we've seen lately. This is gonna be made up of a high grade plastic and so you are going to get a decently light lens and on top of that you are going to get the other art series features things like a physical aperture ring a weather resistant ceiling as well as a plethora of buttons and switches you get two afl buttons you also get a manual focus and autofocus switch you have the ability to click and declick your aperture ring and you have the ability to lock your aperture ring you do have a lock switch for the barrel when it's in storage but as soon as you start zooming and the barrel starts moving, it automatically unlocks, which is actually a feature I really enjoyed from Sigma. Some other brands, you have to physically unlock the lens to be able to zoom in or zoom out. I like the fact that as soon as you start zooming, it automatically unlocks the barrel. You do have an 82 millimeter filter thread. And so if you are using larger filters, you already have a filter thread you can use there. And overall, it is a really well-constructed lens. It's a Sigma art series lens. And so again, that should come as no surprise. And so with all that, who is this lens for? I will say, honestly, this is for someone that wants that one lens that if you were to choose one lens to have in your kit or have in your bag, and you just want it to do almost everything, this is the lens to check out. Like that is hands down who I'd recommend this to. If you're somebody that hasn't invested in a 24 to 70 and you want a little bit more versatility while also having the F 2.8 aperture, this lens is perfect for you. And so if either one of those criteria fit your needs, then I would definitely check out the Sigma 28 to 105 millimeter F 2.8 DGDN. And so that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do have any questions about this lens, let me know in the comments below or reach out to me on Instagram and we can start a conversation there. As always, thank you for joining. Go and find your journey. Go embrace life. Peace. Yeah.